Hey guys, it's Josh, and I'm here to bring you a video that isn't gaming at all. I'm going to be cooking for you guys. And as the first one, first cooking video that I'm doing, I'm going to do my favorite thing to do, which is cook steak. Now, I don't have a grill, so I use my broiler. And uh, things you are going to need for this is obviously steak, um, beer. I'm not sure whether it can be non-alcoholic or alcoholic. I mean, obviously, normal. Normal beer is fine, but you might possibly can use non-alcoholic beer if you are so inclined due to whatever reasons you may have. Uh, other things you're going to need are some uh, oven bits or whatever that go up to 500 because you're going to be handling a fully metal like cast iron pan and it's very important that this is fire that it's a uh, all metal because or at least rated up to 500 degrees because it's going into the broiler or the oven. It's the the top part of the oven is called the broiler. Um, and if it's not rated, then like you could get like melted rubber on your gloves or something. It, not good, right? So very important. And this pan, I don't know if you are aware of this. Let's see lighting. <laughs> this has little I don't know ridges or whatever on it. So even though I don't have a grill, I can still get those fancy grill markings. Maybe I don't know. My first. My first attempt didn't go so well, but anyway, uh, moving on. Things you're going to need is uh, just a bottle of beer, making sure the label isn't shown. It's not important what kind. I've used multiple kinds, from darks to lights at all. It, it doesn't really matter. It's just that there's going to be a little hint of uh, beer that remains. Uh, other things you're going to need, two tablespoons of brown sugar, Okay. two teaspoons of seasoning salt. Let's see if you can get it. Me. Stupid lighting. Uh, one teaspoon of black pepper. I don't know, I just used my little sh cracker thing. And then uh, half a teaspoon of accent salt. You probably don't have to use this, but whatever. It makes it taste good. The good old MSG. And uh, if you can find these, this is just really like an added thing for wherever you put the your seasoning. Because you're going to mix it all together, like, you know, shake it or whatever. I got one of these things, it has a little magnetic backing so it can just stick to my fridge and uh, you just put all the stuff in, which we'll, we'll do, and you can close it and make sure that the, the hole is uh, you know closed so nothing's going to come out and then just shake it. Pretty good, huh? Alright. So first things first is we're going to put the steak, or like add the beer to the steak. And we're going to let this sit for one hour or so. Really doesn't matter how long, but I think an hour minimum is good. So you're just going to add this. Do, 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 do. Oop. Make sure your oven is even-ish so it doesn't pour. Okay. And you're going to let that sit for an hour. And while you do that, you can prepare uh, your um, little spice mixture, which let me get my utensil for doing so. Okay. Ha! Got him. <laughs> Took longer. I just did the dishes. I forgot to take this out with it. All right. So open this baby up. Get two tablespoons of brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't like to pack it down, the, br the brown sugar. Oh, and you can use like darker light brown sugar, I don't know. I think if you use, I would suggest using a darker brown sugar, like if you really want, I don't know, like, once you do this a couple times, you'll, you'll notice the slight nuances with how to like change everything. Like if you want it sweeter, you know, add this, or if you want something else to be more apparent, then add the other. You know, that kind of stuff. So, just practice. The only way you're going to get better is by practicing. If you mess up, eh, whatever. It's no big deal. And then, two teaspoons of seasoning salt. Now this, well, I guess it doesn't matter, but some of these things have little, little spoon things, so when you, you can just scoop, and then it, like, you, you can level it automatically as you pull out, and then just one. And two. Now, half. I do the black pepper last only because I don't use a measuring thing. I just kind of eyeball it. 
So half a teaspoon of accent. Boom. This goes in the sink. <laughs> and then, let's see if you can see. Yeah, just barely. Mm. I don't know. I have it to fairly coarse because, you know, I, I'd like to think that it leaves a little bit of an extra texture there. And then you just add uh, one teaspoon of black pepper. Close enough. Or possibly too much. Whatever. So we've done that. We're going to wait for the beer to, I don't know, work its magic on the steak. And in the meantime, you can just do whatever. Um, yeah, so we'll cut to that. Okay, so we've waited, actually that was more than an hour, I was on Reddit. <laughs> uh, so, we've waited, wow, two-ish hours? Oops. Oh well. Time flies. Okay. So we're going to drain the beer. Just dump that, uh, dump it in the sink or wherever, I don't, I don't care what you do with stiff. And then, uh... We're going to uh, add the the rub, whatever you're going to call it, the stuff, the brown sugar, all that stuff. I'll say rub, seasoning. Mm. Uh, and while you're doing this, you can turn on your broiler uh, if you're if you don't have a grill like me. Uh, if you're going to grill, do your thing, whatever. But for the broilerers, um, broiler onto high, it'll take I don't know 20, 30 minutes for it to heat up, and uh, throw in the pan, the pan while it's doing that, uh, so it can uh, you know heat up with it. Oh, and the uh, rack has to, or the pan has to be six inches from the broiler. So, Ooh, sorry for the low noises. All right. Kind of loud, huh? Anyway, so six inches from the top, uh, you can get like a ruler or something. I don't, I don't know. Um, and then, yeah, that'll do its thing. So here, you're gonna want to, you know, just put on the seasoning and like you know rub it on. Sometimes the brown sugar will clump up. Just you know, smash. I'm not gonna walk your hair. I'm, I'm not gonna hold your hand through this because it's just dump and rub. One thing I will say is to save a little bit, like try and use, I don't know, half-ish on uh, one side, half-ish for the other, and then whatever's left, save that for the end. Uh, just kind of like sprinkle on whenever you are you are cooking the steak. And then you're going to let this sit for 30 minutes or so. The longer the better. But for a minimum, I would definitely suggest like 30 minutes or so. So yeah, just uh, get that. And then while, while you're doing this, if you don't know like cooking times for steaks or something, there's a whole bunch of websites. Just look up like, I don't know, how to broil a steak or something. And it'll have like timers and stuff. Like it depends on thickness and um, how how well you want it. But, like, if you're looking for medium rare, which is what I like, although I'm not, I'm not a master at it, so this might turn out medium or something, but overall time in the broiler will be something like... I don't know, slightly over a minute for each side-ish. I mean, it's, it's pretty hot. So, yeah. Alright. Okay. Alright. So, yeah. I'll cut to 30 minutes from now. Okay, so we've waited 30 minutes and the fun is about to begin. One thing I forgot to say is metal tongs, nice, or well, tongs in general, but I, I just metal. 
I don't know, they're not going to go in, they're just here for flipping. So, remember, don't forget to wear a mitten, because this is going to be hot! Alright, move that to the side, just for slipping reasons. And, making sure we're not forgetting anything, man, it should be, right? Simple stuff. I don't know. I guess I'm just nervous, doing this on camera. Alright, so, I'm going to bring that baby in. And if you want like perfect grilling marks, I remember something like 10 and 2, you kind of like rotate it like this, and then like this, if that makes sense. You know, for you drivers out there, you'd get that instantly. Alright, so, it's gonna go in. And we wait, and here I am without a watch. Let me go get a watch. Okay, and we're going to rotate or shift the stake slightly. Whoop. Oh yeah, that's looking good. This comes out. This goes off. And wait for at least five minutes. Uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for other stuff. This is just the first of potentially at least four videos. Uh, on this thing, I also have like fried vegetables. That'll be really quick. Um, gumbo. Mm, that takes a while. It's going to be a pain. Uh, parfait. And... I don't know. Anyway, uh, bye.